Alrighty. <clears throat> so we have Todd asking. He says, my wife still is questioning me wearing a great kilt. Sounds like it needs a new wife. Um, she Oof. is not a fan. Um, should I wait for a special event like St. Patrick's Day to break out Did and the wear the hurt? kilt in public? Or what's what's our thoughts? So, uh, wait. If she doesn't uh, want him wearing it at all? She just, she doesn't like, she's not a fan. She doesn't. Okay. Now, okay. I'm, let's. Let's let's say this. Okay. I'm I'm going to go out on a limb here a little bit. I'm assuming and you know, correct me if I'm you said his name was Todd? Todd. Todd, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm assuming your wife doesn't mind you wearing kilts. She just doesn't like the great kilt. If that's wrong, speak very 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 quickly so that we can get it in there. Wearing wearing a kilt. He didn't specify a great kilt or a five yard or casual or anything like that. He just specified a kilt. Okay. So his wife doesn't like him wearing kilts. So this has nothing to do with great kilts. Correct. Does he wear a great kilt or am I just imagining you said that? I think you're imagining that. Flashback. He says, my wife still is questioning me wearing a great kilt. Questioning me wearing a great kilt. Great kilt. End of flashback. Okay, I need more scotch. <clears throat> so the wife doesn't like them wearing the kilt. Period. Um, all right, got it. Um, the uh, what do you do when your wife doesn't like you wearing a kilt at all? Um, if she, I don't know if if it's 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 a weird territory where marriages. I used to say marriages should be 50-50, where you know it's fifty fifty. Then a friend of mine said, no, a marriage should be 100-100. It should be you 100% doing with the other person, you know, helping the other person, making sure they're comfortable, and they should be doing the exact same thing for you. Um, I would say it starts with open, honest communication with the wife. Um, if, you're, if you love the kilt because it's a part of your heritage and or you like being the peacock or whatever your reason is for wearing it, I would have an honest discussion with her about that first. Not like when you're wearing it about to go out and she's fighting with you. No, like over dinner, just or after dinner, say, look, I have a question for you. You know, I want to, I want to talk a little bit about the kilt, what it means to me and what your, what your concern is, not issue, but what your concern is, why you don't like it, because I really do like it. It does mean something to me. And one of two things is going to happen. Either she will, she doesn't understand what it actually means to you, or you don't understand what it really means to her. Um, maybe she's insecure. Maybe she sees women coming up and talking to you while you're wearing the kilt and no other time, and she's just a little bit insecure inside about that. Maybe she just doesn't like you, like, you got to figure out what the issues are. You have to lay it all out on the table before you decide, you know, whether you're going to wear it or not going to wear it, whether you're going to push the button once a year, twice a year, 50 times a year. Um, you don't want your wife uncomfortable. A piece of clothing, I'm going to upset people by saying this, but I'll say it anyway. A piece of clothing is not necessarily something to get divorced over, but at the same time, there's something else there. There's a reason why she has said she doesn't want you wearing it. Is it, but you have to get to that concern. And on the flip side, she may not know what you're really thinking, what your true emotions are on the thing. So you wanna make sure she gets that too. It has to be an equal decision of why. And if her answer is, well, it's because, you know, you don't wear your wedding ring in public and women come up to you, then maybe an easy compromise is, fine, I'll put on my wedding ring when I'm wearing my kilt so women know I am taken or I'll only wear it when I'm with you or whatever the case may be. But it's honestly, I think it's probably a symbol of a potential deeper issue in the marriage. And I'm not trying to get all like marriage counselor on you, but you got to you know dig at it a little bit and see what the actual base is of the concern because you don't want to alienate your wife but at the same time you don't want her alienating you mm. eric yeah i think that's that's basically what it comes down to um 
My experience is that most women find men in kilts extremely attractive and very sexy. Um, however, there is a certain segment of women who feel it's not masculine. The, and it depends on what part of the world you're in, what part of the country you're in. Um, so sometimes when I hear this, this concern, it's that um, the, the, the woman in question is concerned about how the community may perceive the man wearing a kilt, wearing a skirt. Um, she may be concerned about some kind of public embarrassment like that uh, because she's been raised to believe that kilts are basically skirts and a man should not wear a skirt and therefore it's unmanly and therefore they're going to get flack from the community or something like that. Um, so sometimes it's there, it's her concern about the community perception, sometimes it's concern about family perception. And my brain is going to weddings, because a lot of time this issue comes up with weddings, where the guy wants to wear a kilt for a wedding, and, uh, the bride-to-be, uh, is saying no. And I find it's usually because she's concerned about either the community or her family, and how they're going to react to it. Because they're not acculturated to the kilt as a, a, a man's garment. Um, so that's just, that's basically just detail on what you're saying. I mean, she's got some kind of an issue. I find a lot of time it's mostly community perception is the concern. Sometimes it's jealousy. Yeah, maybe maybe she loves the kilt actually and she thinks he'll look hot in it and she's insecure. But a lot of time it, I find it's that uh, she's worried about, you know, your husband wears a skirt. You know, I mean, weird you know, paranoia like that because it's non-conformist. You know, for, for as, as popular as kilts have gotten now, there's still, to a large extent, to, in a lot of this country, a non-conformist thing to do, and some people are very worried about that. Yeah, I think you, uh, I think you hit it on the head with the family thing. It's something yeah. I wish I would have said, but I wasn't thinking about. Um, it's they're worried about the perception of others. 100%. You're right. Yeah. So I think so. Yeah. And but, it maybe it maybe there's a separate but equal solution. Like basically, um, she'll learn to accept it if you're just going out with your friends to do something that she's not going to be there at. Um, I've had occasions with my wife where she's just been insecure because she felt she was underdressed. And we go out and I'm in a kilt or something as simple as this outfit. And she's like, oh my God, you look so so dressed up and so fancy and so cool looking. And I just, I'm just wearing like jeans and a t-shirt. I feel underdressed. You know, and, and so that can be a concern also. It doesn't usually, it doesn't ever, it doesn't ever, it doesn't usually come out as a, I disapprove of you wearing it. Um, it may be a question of, Though, if you want to go out together, make sure that some kind of a special occasion where she dresses up and is really putting on the dog in her own way, expressing herself, and you express yourself with a kilt, and you're on a par, and maybe that can help. Um, it's either that or the separate but equal thing. Like, okay, I'll wear it, but you don't have to be there. I'm going to go out to the pub on Friday. You don't even have to see me leave the house. You know. <laughs> Put it on in the car later on. No, it's Seriously, either... I've known people who do that. I have known yeah, people who have done that. You gotta still hit teenagers. Gotta sneak it, you know. <laughs> put it, put it in your school bag and bring it to school. Then put it on. Um, right. Or right. yeah. No, but it's yeah. You again. You're hitting the nail on the head with the uh, uh, either a. She's concerned what her family or people she know thinks, or she's concerned what strangers think. Maybe you can do something with one group, not the other. Like if she, if it's strangers, maybe she cares less. Maybe she cares more. Um, or maybe, like Eric said, you just have to cut it out and say, you know, okay, if I'm going out by myself, I'm going to wear it. If it makes you uncomfortable, then I won't wear it with you. And then the more you wear it, the more she's just going to go, fine, he's wearing it again. That's fine. Um, I'm, yeah. I, we're going to go out to dinner. Fine, he can wear it. Um, mm -hmm. Wear her down over time. There's something There's something to that. And I think uh, some media exposure is a good thing, too, because Men in Kilts is on the air right now. Yeah, anybody who was an Outlander fan loves this show. Um, I have mixed feelings about it myself, but it's it's a nice travel log for Scotland, so it's very healthy for Scotland. Um, and, and it's basically these are these are guys going out and doing Scottish Celtic stuff, and they wear kilts a good percentage of the time. There are kilts all over the place now, so show her that it's not this freakish thing. It's actually much. It's it's never been more popular. You know, Agreed. so it's okay. So what do you guys think? For the men out there, are your wives fans of you wearing the kilt? Or do they prefer maybe you dress down a little bit on occasion? For the women out there, do you dig when your guys wear the kilt? Let us know in the comments. Have a great day, guys.